Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm super excited about this video because I thought this Lego EV3 Mindstorms brick was dead and it has come back to life. You're gonna have to stay with me to find out what happened and how it came back to life. So if you guys remember, about a week ago, I uploaded a video about the LEGO Mindstorms EV3 paddle boat. Let me show you a quick clip. It's making a funny sound. You hear it? <laughs> And during that video, I had mentioned that something unfortunate had happened, but I don't think I told you what it was. So now that this thing is working, I can tell you what happened. While I was testing the paddle boat, this brick got totally submerged in water. I mean, literally. And if you want to see a reenactment, because I wasn't videotaping it, here's a reenactment of what I look like when I saw it go underwater. Okay, I can't guarantee you that this is going to work for your situation, but I'm going to tell you what happened with this brick. It went underwater for about one second. I saw the green light turn orange, and then it, the screen started to fade, and I just I saw it deteriorate before my eyes, and it was just a nightmarish thing, and I basically um, thought it was gone forever. Um, but then I thought, you know what, there's probably something I can do. So here's what I did, and today it magically somehow, well, I'll show you what happens in a second. But here's the first thing I did. I took off the battery, and I basically, you know, like you would to fix maybe a, one of those broken connectors, I basically took the entire brick apart. And I basically took a hair dryer, and I was just like... <sighs> And I, I dried it for maybe 15, 30 minutes. And then I just basically let it sit out. And then what I would do is I, I would try to put the battery back on and try to test it. And nothing and nothing and nothing. Um, to be honest with you, this was not the original battery. I actually have it charging right now. This is a different battery, so I don't know necessarily if that battery that went underwater still works. I'll show you that in another video. But what I did is I put another battery on this brick, and I'm like, no way, because I didn't th I didn't think about uh, swapping out batteries. I just thought, well, it went underwater. Electronics don't do great underwater. The thing is dead. I'm in really big trouble. Um, but what I did today is I took another battery and put it on this brick and I was like, wait a second, red lights? And then I'm like, okay, give it, let me give it some time and see what, what might happen. And so I'm just sitting there waiting and waiting and waiting and then it popped on. So I was like, no way can Mr. Hino be the first person ever to submerge their Lego Mindstorms EV3 brick underwater, have it die and have it come back to life. So if any of you, you're watching this video to see if it actually can survive, mine actually did. Um, and I, like I told you, I'll check to later to see if my battery survived, but the brick works fine. I mean, you know, I can make it control it. I can, you know, I haven't hooked it up to anything yet, so I can't really say whether it works perfectly, but this right here is a miracle because I thought it was just beyond anything. So again, um, the tip was to basically blow dry the inside out and basically I just let it sit and I didn't let it sit on purpose. I just thought it was dead, but this has been sitting for about a week, just sitting, doing nothing. So I, I think it just had time to dry. Um, I don't know if the hair dryer did it all, but 
It just is a miracle. So those of you that are wondering whether a Lego Mindstorms EB3 brick can survive a submerged brick, have it die, it can't come back to life. Okay, everybody, I didn't want to leave you hanging. This was the submerged uh, battery that's been charging. Let's go ahead and test it into this brick. Hmm, it's looking pretty good here. I didn't want to be without a brick or the battery working. So if this turns green, we successfully have brought everything back to life. Come on, you can do it, you can do it. Red is good, but green is better. Come on, come on. Yes! All right. So the battery that was submerged under the water has now powered up the EV3 brick that was submerged in water. Okay guys, so I just thought I would share that story with you because I've looked all over the internet and nobody has told me or shown that their brick has gone underwater and actually survived. So hey, if I can be the first one, awesome. Okay guys, thank you for watching. I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out.